Hello everyone! In this video, you will be learning how to obtain pure, col pure isolated colonies using the three zone streaking method. The first thing you're going to do is label your plate with your name, date, TA name, and specimen on there. Make sure you label it properly and on the bottom of the plate. Next thing, this is totally optional, but you can draw the sections on the bottom of the plate and label them one, two, and three. Like I said, totally optional, but it can help you stay within the sections. You're gonna flip your plate over and you're going to sterilize your loop. Make sure you let it cool before sticking it into your culture. You're going to stick your loop in your culture one time and streak the first section. Flame your loop, completely sterilizing it once more. Don't forget to let it cool. Once it's cool, you're going to pull from the first section one time and completely streak the second section without crossing over into the first section. Sterilize your loop again, letting it cool down completely. Then, you're going to pull one time from the second section into the third section, and then flame your loop. Now we'll quickly go over the other way that you've been taught is the four quadrant strip. So you're gonna repeat these steps just like you did for making your three quadrant plate. You're gonna label your plate properly, name, date, TA, section, time, and specimen. And like I said, optional to do, but I highly recommend drawing out your quadrants on the back and labeling them just to prevent crossing over and knowing where you um, streak your plate. But optional as well. It kind of helps you stay within the quadrants. So label your quadrants one, two, three, and four. You're going to repeat the same steps like you did for making your three quadrant plate. You're going to sterilize your loop and then you're going to make sure you let it cool all the way down so that when you stick it in the culture tube you don't burn any bacteria. Make sure you work around the flame as well to prevent contamination. You're going to stick your loop in your culture tube and you're going to streak all of quadrant one. You're going to flame your loop again, completely sterilizing it, making sure it cools. You're going to pull only one time from quadrant one into quadrant two. Make sure you don't cross over into quadrant one. After you streaked all of quadrant two, you're going to flame your loop again, cooling it down, and you're going to pull only one time from quadrant two into quadrant three, streaking all of quadrant three. Like I said, make sure you don't cross over into any other quadrants. 
Lastly, you're gonna repeat the steps of sterilizing your loop, and you're gonna only pull one time from quadrant three into quadrant four. Okay. 